This video is about using uh, named versus unnamed arguments when we're calling functions. And we've seen examples of using both approaches during the semester. For example, when using ggplot, we've been naming all of our arguments by saying data is equal to the name of the data frame and mapping is equal to an aesthetic. And we've also used functions where we don't name the arguments, like when we calculate the sum over a vector, we just provide it the vector with no name. Any function can be called in either way. So if we look at our calc shrub vol function, we could call it like we have here with the arguments defined by position. So here 0.8 will be assigned to length, 1.6 will be assigned to width, and 2.0 will be assigned to height. But we could also call the same function using the names of the arguments. And we could say calc shrub vol length is equal to 0.8, width is equal to 1.6, and height is equal to 2.0. And we'll get back the same result that we would have gotten up here. One of the advantages to using named arguments is that the order doesn't matter. Uh, and so if I copy this line here, but move height to the front, we'll get the same result. And that would be true even if we weren't just multiplying three numbers together. And that's because when we name our arguments, they get assigned to the uh, argument in the function with the same name. So here, height equals to 2.0 says set height equal to 2. Length equals to 0.8 says set length equal to 0.8. And width equal to 1.6 says set this width equal to 1.6, and so it matches them by name instead of position. And so we have these two different approaches that can be used. It's common to use position for the main arguments going into a function, though in cases where it's difficult to remember the order, like is it length, width, height, or height, length, width, it can be useful to go ahead and name them to avoid making mistakes where you think you remember the order of these arguments, but you've actually got it wrong. When it comes to optional arguments, however, it's very common to use names. And that's because we often have multiple optional arguments. And in that case, if we just want to change one of them, the only way to do that without specifying all of those optional arguments is to change its name. And so the most common way to run this function, if we wanted to change the height, would be calc shrub vol. And then we would provide the required arguments, those that don't have a default, based on position, so 0.8 for length and 1.6 for width. And then if we wanted to change the height, we would provide it by name. And so we would say height is equal to 2.0. And that would let us change this even if it was the third optional argument in a list of optional arguments effectively. And I've got a typo. So that's the idea behind when we tend to use named arguments or position-based arguments. In general, we use position-based arguments for things that are required and named arguments for things that are optional, for things where there is a default value available. The exception to that is cases where it can be easy to get confused about the order of the required arguments, in which case using named arguments for everything can avoid common mistakes. 
And that's why we've been using named arguments for data and mapping in ggplot. Never mind. We're just going to call it good there.